Hello, everyone. My name is Mo Zulfikar, and welcome to another episode of Income Investors. With me today is John Whitefoot with another exciting income pick. If you want to read more about what John writes on a regular basis, you can head to IncomeInvestors.com, or you can find the link to the website in the description below. The world is transitioning to green energy, but the fact remains the world needs oil and gas with the exploration and production industry providing better value proposition than ever before. In fact, with many energy transition targets set for 2030, it's fair to say the green movement is significantly behind schedule. Not surprisingly, world demand for oil is still projected to increase over the next 25 years plus. From 96.5 million barrels of oil per day in 2022 to 97.4 million barrels per day by 2050. And over the same period, demand for natural gas is expected to increase from 4.159 trillion cubic meters in 2022 to 4.179 billion cubic meters in 2050. Taking that global demand into account, between 2030 and 2050, the cumulative global oil and gas investment, be it upstream, midstream, and downstream, is expected to reach $21.1 trillion. Not all oil and gas exploration production companies are created equal. Try and find overlooked those with strong balance sheets, significant free cash flow generation, and low cash flow break-even prices. And of course, those with big dividends like TXO Partners LP, traded on New York Stock Exchange under symbol TXO. John, what can you tell us about TXO Partners LP? Thanks, Mo. Yeah, to be fair, most people aren't familiar with TXO Partners, but that's only because the company's initial public offering, or IPO, was in early 2023. And with a market cap of just slightly north of $800 million, it's a smaller company, but it has a lot going for it. Fort Worth, Texas-based TXO Partners is an oil and gas company focused on conventional oil, natural gas, and natural gas liquid reserves in North America. Now, its current acreage positions are concentrated in the Permian Basin of Texas and New Mexico, and the uh, San Juan Basins of uh, New Mexico and Colorado. It recently expanded its presence into the greater Williston Basin back in June, when it announced it entered into separate agreements to purchase assets in Montana and North Dakota for, I think, total considerations of $243 million dollars and 2.5 million common units of a TXO. Should the deal close as expected in the third quarter, transactions are expected to add 4,500 daily barrels of oil equivalent production per day. Of that mix, I think 90% is liquids. John, I was reading on IncomeInvestors.com that it increases dividend by 30% to $0.65 cents per share. Yeah, for the first quarter ended March 31st, 2024. TXO reported revenue of $67.44 million. Now that topped Wall Street forecast by more than 3%. First quarter earnings slipped to $0.33 cents per share, but still topped Wall Street calls for $0.24 cents per share. Now this allowed it to announce a distribution of $0.65 cents per share or per unit. The $0.65 cent per unit distribution represents a 30% increase over the $0.50 cents per unit distribution announced in May of 2023. Transaction translates into a annual payout of $2.23 per unit for a current forward dividend yield, at least at this recording, of 10.68%. And this actually represents the fourth consecutive increase to the partnership's at quarterly distribution. Now, as is the case with variable distributions, the amount of cash available for distribution is dependent on current commodity prices and will fluctuate. Talk about the TXO units as well. They're up 22% in 2024 so far. And they potentially have another 25% upside? Well, thanks to solid financial results, uh, new acquisitions, and industry tailwinds, TXO partners units have been performing well. As you noted, up 22% year-to-date and 9.75% year-over-year. Now, despite the big gains, Wall Street is increasingly bullish on TXO units, providing a 12-month share price forecast of $26. Why the positive outlook? Well, the current consensus is for 2024 revenue to actually slip to $329.4 million from $380.7 million in 2023. Revenues are expected to jump to $413.4 million in 2025. John, thank you so much for your insights. Just to recap, TXO Partners LP is a great energy company with a growing property portfolio in Premium Basin, San Juan, and Wilson Basin. 
each of which is characterized by low geological risk, low decline rates, and high recovery rates. Thanks to a loophole, the partnership is required to distribute all of its cash on hand at the end of each quarter. The management of the company has said that the low decline nature of its reserve and the relatively low cost to maintain production combined with this low leverage profile will continue to support distribution. That's it for today and make sure to go to IncomeInvestors.com now to get our free special report on three income stocks to own today. One of those stocks currently has a dividend yield of 12.7%. You can find the link to IncomeInvestors.com in the description below. We'll be back with more income picks soon, so stay tuned. And in the meantime, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Goodbye for now.